chapter 9 random variables for SM025 for this lecture 1 we will concentrate on the subtopic 1 that is introduction to random variables and the subtopic 2 that is discrete random variables for the learning outcomes of the lecture 1, at the end of the lesson, students should be able to define discrete random variable, construct the probability distribution table and probability distribution function, and find the cumulative distribution function. Variables are what's defined as a characteristic or attribute that can assume different values. Various letters of alphabet such as X, Y, or Z are used to represent variables. Example 1, if a dice is rolled, a letter X can be used to represent the outcomes. Then the value X can assume is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, corresponding to the outcomes of rolling a single dice. Example 2, if two coins are tossed, a letter Y can, can be used to represent the numbers of hits. In this case, 0, 1, or 2. Since the variables are associated with probability, they are called random variables. A random variable is defined as a function that assigns a numerical value to each simple event in a sample. Usually, random variables are denoted by capital letter such as X and Y and their corresponding small letters X and Y are used to represent a particular value of a of the random variable. Example 1. If two coins are toes and a letter X is used to represent the numbers of head, so the possible outcomes is 0, till tails, H and tail is 1, tail and H is 1 and to get h and h is 2, the probability. So the values of x is 0, 1, 2. Random variables, we have discrete random variables that the value can be counted. Some examples of discrete random variables are the number of cars sold at a dealership during a given month, the number of employees working at a company, the number of complaints received at the office of an airline on a given day, the number of customers visiting a bank during any given hour, the number of hits obtained in three doses of a coin. For random variables, we also have the continuous random variable. The values are not countable, one or more interval. The following are a few examples of Continuous random variables, salaries of worker in a factory, time taken by workers to learn a job, amount of water consumed by a family in each month of a year, the height of students in a college. Example 2. Construct the probability distribution function. If two fair coins are tossed, sketch the graph of probability distribution function. So for the solution, x will represent the number of tier of teen, then the x will become 0, 1, 2. We represent our answer in the form of table. x, small letter x is 0, 1, 2, then the probability is 1 over 4, 1 over 2, and 1 over 4. We also can represent our answer using the function, the piecewise function, and lastly, we can use the graph to represent the answer. x on the x axis 0 1 2 then for the probability that we have is 1 over 4 and 1 over 2 then we use the vertical line to show the answer probability distribution of the discrete random variable the list of all the possible values of random variable x with their corresponding probabilities is known as discrete probability distribution the summation for the probability x is known as a discrete random variable then the probability is always less than 1 greater or equal to 0 then the summation for the probability is always equal to 1 this is for discrete random variable the probability distribution can be re uh, can be presented in the form of table function and graph 
Example 3. The probability distribution function of a discrete random variable x is given by probability x equals to x equal to k times 4 minus x for x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. Given that k is a constant, find the values of k. We represent the probability distribution of x in the form of table where our x is 0, 1, 2, 3. Then the probability we can get it from the function that is given by substituting the value of x into the function. When x equals to 0, substitute into here, you will get it is 4k. When x equals to 1, we will get 3k. x equals to 2, we will get 2k. X and x equals to 3, we will get k. Then for discrete random variables, we know that the summation for the probability is always equal to 1. So we sum up all the probability that we have in the table. 4k plus 3k plus 2k plus k equal to 1. After that, we simplify it. We will get k equals to 1 over 10. For cumulative distribution function, it is obtained from a frequency table by summing all the frequencies of probability up to a particular value. The resulting function is known as cumulative distribution function. Discrete random variable x with the probability distribution function, then for the x is x1, x2 until xn, the cumulative the cumulative distribution function of x denoted by capital letter Fx. It is given by Fx equal to probability x is less than or equal to x. Summation for the probability from x equal to x1 until xn. The median n is the value when probability x is less than or equal to n equal to 0 0.5 or Fn equal to 0 0.5. Example 4. The probability distribution of a discrete random variable x is given in the table below. This one is the discrete random variable. Okay, find the cumulative distribution function. Find the capital letter F. Sketch the function of cumulative distribution function and find the median. We copy down the table first. Now we are going to find the cumulative distribution function using this formula. For the x is less than 0, cumulative distribution function equal to 0. For x is less than 1, greater or equal to 0, the probability distribution function, the cumulative, cumulative the capital letter F, equal to probability x equal to 0, that is equal to 1 over 8. Then for x is less than 2, greater or equal to 1, the cumulative distribution function is probability x equal to 0 plus probability x equal to 1. That is 4 over 8. Then for x is less than 3, greater or equal to 2, the cumulative distribution function is the summation of the probability x equal to 0, x equal to 1, x equal to 2. So it will give us 7 over 8. Then last one, when x is greater or equal to 3, the cumulative distribution function is the summation or the probability. It will give us equal to 1. Then we can write down the answer in the form of the function, the piecewise function. Then the cumulative distribution function in the form of the function. After that, we can represent it using a graph where our x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then our probability is on the y axis. Then we use the horizontal line to represent our answer. Then to find the median, we use the formula fm equals to 0 0.5. So our f1 equals to 0 0.5, median equals to 1. Example 5. The cumulative distribution of a discrete random variable x is given in the table below. This one is the cumulative distribution function. Okay, find the probability distribution table of x. That means we need to find out this one, probability x equal to x. And the mode. 
for the solution the value of probability distribution function for x equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are calculated by using this formula. Probability x equal to a equal to probability x less than or equal to a minus probability x is less than or equal to a minus 1. For example, probability x equal to 5. It is equal to probability x is less than or equal to 5 minus probability x is less than or equal to 5 minus 1, that is 4. Look at the solution. Probability x equal to 1, it is probability x is less than or equal to 1 minus probability x is less than or equal to 0. That is f1 minus f0. f1 is 0 0.5 here minus 0. So finally, you get 0 0.05. Then after that, to get the probability x equal to 2, that is f2 minus f1. F2 is 0 0.3 minus F1 is 0 0.05, so you get 0 0.25. Then to get the probability for x equals to 3, that is F3 minus F2. F3 we have 0 0.6 minus F2 is 0 0.3, so we get 0 0.3. Next is probability for x equal to 4, that is f4 minus f3, 0 0.75 minus 0 0.6, then you get 0 0.15. Last one is probability x equal to 5, that is f5 minus f4, 1 minus 0 0.75, it is equal to 0 0.25. The probability distribution table of x is this one. We represent our answer using the table. Then to determine the mode, we refer to the probability here. The highest value of the probability will represent our mode. So our mode equal to 3. Notice that we can use the summation of the probability to check our answer. Our final answer will give us is 1. For the summation of the probability. Thank you. That's all for our lecture one.